Mitchell. Um, can you just talk about your first few days here uh, in camp with a new team, how you're adjusting, and just your overall impressions? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, all the, the guys and the coaching staff have uh, been great. And, you know, for me, it's just, you know, coming in, trying to learn new systems, new structure, and um, get to know everyone. So, um, you know, everything's going uh, good so far. Just how excited are you for the opportunity here and coming from a, you know, a championship team in Tampa Bay to a team here in Detroit, which, you know, has some openings here, some, some opportunities for you? Yeah, I'm excited to, to show that, you know, the players, the coaching staff, and the management, um, what I can bring to the team and, um, and, and earn opportunities, um, you know, for me to come in and, you know, make a good first impression and, um, you know, sort of you know, show that you can you know, help the team win. You're kind of in a similar situation with, as Adam Ernie came here a couple of years ago from Tampa, uh, you know, got, got the opportunity and, show what you could do and kind of gain some kind of some inspiration from that yeah I mean you know Adam came in yeah exactly the, the same situation he came in and he he ran with that opportunity that he got here and um you know for me I want to you know put my you know best foot forward every day and you know show that I can you know can contribute and, and play at uh play inside the structure and the system that the coaches want thanks Joe. Next up, Ted Colfin, Detroit News. You know, just talking about today's game, I mean, just the pace of it, were you, you guys pretty pleased with the way things went in terms of just the pace of the game and all that? Yeah, I, I think the pace was was good. Um, you know, obviously there's, you know, structural things that, you know, everyone needs to clean up. But, um, you know, I think, you know, for me it was, you know, about, you know, getting to play with, Guys, again, getting to play in a real game situation, and um, you know it, it was exciting to to have some of that competition and you know sort of that game like feel. What's the toughest, like, you know, the toughest thing coming over to a new team like this? I mean, learning the systems and all that, or what do you feel? I think just yeah, like learning the systems, um, getting to know the players, the tendencies, and you know for them to get to know you as well. Um, you know, for me, it was, you know, I want to come in and, and show, you know, what I could do and also, um, you know, sort of build chemistry with guys or um, get to know their tendencies as well and um, learn the structure of the systems and, and everything like that. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, you, you got to get used to it. Sounds good. Thanks, Chris. Next up, Max Boltman, The Athletic. <clears throat> Hey Mitch, I was just curious, even beyond kind of the opportunity of a new team, what did it mean to have Steve and, and Pat, who obviously were part of the Viking when you were drafted, like trade for you this summer? Well, most of a lot. Um, you know, I think, you know, coming into this organization, they wanted to to give me a, a shot at, uh, you know, an opportunity to, to play a, a bigger role. And uh, I'm grateful for my time in Tampa. Uh, I met and, you know, play with a lot of great players. and. You know, for the next chapter, you know, in my career, it's, you know, growing and um, establishing myself and, uh, you know, coming in here and doing what I can to, to help the team and uh, wherever that may be. And just having seen what you were able to see as, as part of a winning organization like that, you know, what, do you, what would you kind of like to add or what kind of culture do you want to kind of help set in Detroit? To, I imagine they would like to replicate that pretty closely. Well, for me, it's, you know, learning you know, how this culture works as well. Um, you know, for, for, for me, I, you know, I want to listen to the, to the older guys. You know, there's a lot of great veterans here, you know, Stalzy and Gags and, and DK and, um, you know, guys that have been around the league a long time and, you know, have, have proven themselves. So to get to, you know, watch them and, um, you know, sort of see where I fit into the, to the team and, um, you know, try to make a, an impact early that, you know, you can, uh, you know, run with. Thanks very much. Next up, Bob Duff, Detroit Hockey Now. Hey, Mitch, so in the years when the Wings were on top of the league, we saw a lot of guys kind of in your situation who were, you know, guys that were good, should be in the NHL, but just the Wings were such a deep, talented team, there just wasn't a place for them, and a lot of them would move on to other teams and find a role. So I imagine that's kind of what's in your mind, as much as it was great to be around 
around the sailing cup teams, you got to think about yourself when you want to, when you say make a beer mark, you got to reach out for yourself. Yeah, anytime you, you get an opportunity to, you know, grow your grow yourself and grow your career, um, you pretty you have to, to run with it. And you know, for me coming in into Detroit, uh, it was a great opportunity for me to to earn a, a spot on this team and and earn a, a bigger role. So um, you know, I have to to come in each day and show that I'm willing to you know to jump into that role and and, and earn an impact. We always hear you know, the value of the lesson of going through a Stanley Cup run. You've been around two of them now. What do you think you've learned from that? What things that you've kind of picked up that are going to help you going forward? I think just the the winning culture. Um, you know, for me, when I was in, in Tampa, it was, you know, there were, you know, obviously a lot of superstars, but there were guys that, you know, are playing those top minutes, but also, you know, did the, the grittier things um, in terms of, you know, trying to win a Stanley Cup and, um, you know, to have everyone up and down the lineup, you know, pulling for each other and doing, you know, grittier little things to, to win, and whether it's blocking shots, you know, playing, you know, tight, hard, you know, structured systems. It's, um, it takes, you know, everyone on the team, um, you know, being a part of that and going through that, you, you learn those things, and um, you know, it was a, a special, you know, team to be a part of. Thank you. And our last question, Ted Colfin, Detroit News. Just one more minute. Just what did you do? Did you have a day with the Cup this summer? Or? Yeah, yeah, I did. How was it? It was awesome um, to to spend it with my, you know, my family, my friends, and bring it back to my hometown. It was. Um, you know, just the, the amount of people that have helped and supported me over the years to, to give back to them, you know, whether it was spending the whole day with them when they were with me or, you know, even five minutes. It was, it was special to, you know, to, to celebrate with everyone. Hey, for you, what, what was the hometown? Where did you take it back to? Uh, Peterborough, Ontario. That has to be a big thrill. Out yeah, it was, it was, it was special. And, there's a lot of people that I haven't seen in, you know, a lot of years because of hockey and, you know, short summers. So it was, um, it was awesome to see, you know, old, old friends and, you know, get, you know, sort of the family back together. It was, it was pretty cool.